My fiance told me that this is the last week of summer, and I don't care that it's not spooky season yet. Since y'all want to end spooky season so early, I'm going to start with spooky season way early. See, back when horror films were, you know, actually scary, we had characters that were so terrifying and gruesome to the point where we were telling people, don't go to sleep. If you don't want to bump into this motherfucker right here, don't go to sleep. When Michael, Michael Myers over here, was over here slashing and dashing people, I never really took the time to think about how old he was. This man was in his 60s. No one ever pointed that out. When I think of Jason, I think of somebody who basically just hates young people. Or it could just be on some Shrek shit, like, stay out of my swamp. Honestly, I don't see him hurting anyone over the age of 30. Clowns will always and forever be creepy to me. That being said, I will still kick the paint off of their faces. I'm just saying, clowns are creepy enough without hearing about them taking people's alive away. He's a grown man with a mask that is made of skin, and he runs around in the middle of Texas, somewhere in the middle of fucking nowhere, chasing people with goddamn chainsaws. Not only is he going to hurt you, but he's going to transform you and turn you into something that he's going to use on a daily basis. At least he's resourceful. Why pay for it when you can just make it at home? <laughs> oh, why did I say that? I could never take the screen character serious. Ever. I, just, I don't care that he has a knife. Because when I look at this dude, the only thing I hear in the back of my head is... <laughs> if you're confused, I'm basically talking about the scary movie franchise. That shit storm. Norman Bates is actually more common than you think. Some people love their mama. Some people love the hell out of their mama. And he thought that his mama was still here with us after her expiration date. That trauma. I know what you're thinking, okay? How could a doll do something like that? Oh, the, pump the brakes, okay? We're talking about a possessed doll, okay? We're talking about somebody making some little voodoo spell and then taking somebody else's spirit from the afterlife and then putting it inside of a doll. Yes, you can lay him out like fresh laundry, but that's not going to be easy. This is like a child chasing you around the house with a knife, except he's not clumsy at all. He's just making you run and he is gaining on you. All these motherfuckers had to do was just not open the box. They would have never seen Pinhead up here if they never would have fucking opened the box. Curiosity literally killed the cat here. That was the overall stigma that I got with this character. I was more pissed than anything while watching this movie. This is the face of a coward who likes to torture people. He had a whole bunch of fucking animatronic shit walking around doing the work for him. He, he, this man never put any fear in my eyes because look at him. He looks like a gentle breeze could knock him the fuck over. This man is fictional, and he's still terrifying. Granted, so are the majority of these people on this list, but this guy right here, this scared people because this could actually happen. There's a chance that there's a therapist on some fucking Sigmund Freud shit trying to fucking do backstrokes in the back of somebody's goddamn subconscious, getting them so fucked up to the point where he has them in the palm of their hand. I'm willing to bet you that this man is the reason why a lot of people didn't seek therapy when they needed it. Cause this would terrify me too. The minute that I saw this man hanging out at the bar, I knew he was over there trying to drown some of his demons. And then the, here's Johnny, that didn't shock me at all. I love Jack Nicholson, but this, this portrayal right here, this is not the face of somebody who is trustworthy. This guy right here made me not trust lawyers at all. Basically, it made me terrified of anybody who spent too much time in a suit. The man was getting busy. The girl was just laying right there. He's over there staring off in the mirror. Why are you doing that, sir? It's like a narcissistic adult film. I'm not, I, I don't feel comfortable. Of course, we gotta talk about the classics. This, this man wasn't scary at all, but like, if it wasn't for him, we would have never known what scary was. Much respect to him and pioneers like him. I'm just so sad that the horror genre ha has just turned into shit.